The real question is, yes, we love the sightseeing, but where are the boys? Not me emerging from a four-year hiatus. <laughs> Hi, guys. Wow, it's been a minute since I've said that, but I am back. The people's princess is back, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Where are we? To London. So buckle in, ladies. We're going for a ride. Day one, we made our way to Tom Tom Coffee House. And yes, that's my homegirl, Jelani. If you think you've ever eaten a strawberry here in the US, no, you have not. I never tasted strawberries that tasted as good as these strawberries. And hello, we're in London. Obviously, I had to order some tea. Also, I was really sick from traveling the day before, so this just hit the spot. And this is my attempt at taking an aesthetic -y video of the tube coming. Um, yeah, obviously a whole bunch of people got in my way. That's not their fault, it's mine. But you gotta love the looks. So we are in Buckingham Palace and we just witnessed, what is it, the opening of Parliament? Insert videos here. This was one of those right place at the right time kind of moment. After we finished breakfast, we just thought to wander around, try to make our way over to Buckingham Palace. And while we were walking, there was like a whole trail of horse poo. And we were like, surely this could not be from one horse. <laughs> so we followed it and it led us right up to Buckingham Palace right on time because we got to see the King of England. The girls were in for me, Shun. Do you see the front man in the gold really keeping them in check? I mean, the arms were all swinging at the same time. They were stepping on the same foot. This is the kind of formation Beyonce was talking about. What a lucky time for us. We literally just had breakfast and thought like, let's just walk over, see what's up. And then we saw that. Oh, duh, how I don't take a selfie with it, hello? Oh my God, you're so right. We made it. So very good fun. Truly in our tourist era, I mean, we were just so excited to see the Big Ben, but clearly the girls are the main attraction here. Being a certified homebody, I hardly ever leave my house, so the few times that I do, I have to pop out and give you all a photo shoot. Every single attempt at trying to make a video, it would look just like this, where it's empty and then boom, a person, but this was the best I could do. So we're just gonna crop that guy out a little bit and focus on me. This is where we started to get a little fancy. We turned on that cinematic mode and it was time to make a movie. You cannot tell me this isn't giving. That you settle down. <laughs> Do you guys see the vision? Look at how these photos came out. It's giving drama. It's giving main character. I don't even have words <laughs> to explain how amazing flat iron is in London. Even the cutlery is adorable. Look at these mini cleavers. So cute. Guess how much the steak was? Too slow, 14 British pounds. And that was the best steak I ever had in my entire life. And that thing I'm digging into, bone marrow mash. Bone marrow mash and mac and cheese. That mac and cheese was insane. And I know the portions look crazy small, but the flavor was so rich, so incredible. So mouthwatering. Oh yeah, that's um creamy spinach. Anyways, 10 out of 10 juiciest steak out of this world. Oh my god. I just couldn't get enough of these cleavers. They were just so cute. Here's a quick glance at the menu. Look at how cute they gave us these tokens. Which are little mini versions of those like 
butcher knives that we just have to go get our free complimentary ice cream. This is all the girlies want. Delicious food at an affordable price. I mean, look at that. For the most insane meal, that is not bad. They gave us our complimentary ice cream. How is it? Mm, good, creamy. I don't know. What do you think? Hold on. I can't pinpoint. I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pinpoint like the taste exactly. Like it's, it's not vanilla. It's not vanilla. Whatever, so it's free. And it's good. And it's good. <laughs> Alright, oh. bye. Bye everyone. <laughs> mm. Nothing like a rainy day in London. And on day two we went to the iconic Camden Town playground of Miss Amy Winehouse herself. Aside from having some of the coolest shops I have ever seen, Camden Town also has its own market, Camden Market. I stumbled into this record store and bought this vinyl, which I love. But the best purchase has to be this Egyptian oil perfume. Oh my god, I wish I bought more. From Camden Town, we scooted on over to Fleet Street. Yes, like Sweeney Todd, <laughs> to visit the oldest pub in London. I'm not really a beer girly, but when in London, right? This is the inside of one of the rooms. How cool. Oh my God, it's so old, I love it. Day three of our London adventure and it was cramming day. We were so jet lagged the first few days in London. So this was really the day that we did the most. We are at the London Bridge, like Fergie. Also, I think that's London Tower. Let me know. Let me know if Anne Boleyn ever went there. I think she was there at some point. Someone in history, let me know. If you're someone that suffers with BBS like me, I highly recommend going to Borough Market. Look at me eating that carrot cake. It was so yummy! Jelani went for a more savory option and got this cheesy pretzel. Add one of those. Oh. That is busted. Fish and chips to London is what a dollar slices to New York, okay? So obviously, we had to grab some and look how crispy it is. We are at the famous TikTok strawberry place. Okay, listen, I know that there is nothing revolutionary about some chocolate on some strawberries, but you guys have to trust me and the rest of TikTok hyping these strawberries up because they were amazing. The chocolate was so velvet and rich, but not sweet. It was the perfect balance. And listen, I know chocolate strawberries. I worked at edible arrangements for seven years, so I am an expert in chocolate strawberries. I mean, look at my reaction. Girl, it's good? Yeah, that's like a crazy strawberry. What's Whoa. the rating? 10. 10? 10. Okay, I'm kind of mad at you guys because why did no one tell me how good mold wine is? Oh my god, it was Christmas in a cup and I wish I had more than just one cup. We walked off that food by exploring more of the market and then we were on our way to Notting Hill and oh my gosh, it was just a sigh of relief to be somewhere that is not central London. It was so quaint and beautiful and I felt like I was in a rom-com. It's the way that I spent all of my money on Portobello Road, but I have no regrets. I got five vintage watches and Jelani got some of these beautiful prints. They were like really old too, like 1800s and they were stunning. 
it was time for the girls to get bougie. And of course, the only way we know how to do that is by getting afternoon tea topped with a glass of champagne. <laughs> That laugh was so bougie, but see, I am ready to fulfill this role. This is the only life I'm destined to live. And since we were already in the neighborhood, we decided to pop into Harrods and wow, <laughs> what a store. I can honestly tell you, I've never seen a more extravagant department store in my life. I mean, Harrods had their own chocolate room and it was filled to the brim with so many different chocolates. And I wish I got more video of the Christmas decorations inside because it was so gorgeous. Speaking of Christmas decorations, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that we decided to go to London when we did, which was like early to mid November. I wasn't sure if they were going to have the Christmas lights up yet, but luckily they did. And thank God, because I have always dreamed of being in London during Christmas time. And I was so happy to see all of the Christmas lights. If you don't know anything about me, know this Christmas is my favorite holiday. So seeing London during Christmas time really was a dream come true. On our fourth and final day, we woke up bright and early and made our way to the English countryside. That is right, folks. Lauren's dream came true of going to the English countryside and it was everything I hoped for and more. Being in the Cotswolds truly made me feel like I was in my favorite Christmas movie, which if you have not guessed yet, is The Holiday. I always joke with my friends that I'm going to just pick up and move to the English countryside. But truly, after experiencing this firsthand, I am making this a life goal. Burton on the Water was my favorite village that we visited while we were in the Cotswolds. I mean, it was literally like a storybook. The shops were just so stinking cute. The food that you saw earlier was absolutely amazing. And just walking around, you were surrounded by so much beauty. But the coolest thing we saw was this ancient church door that Tolkien actually visited and it was the inspiration for the Door of Durin in Lord of the Rings. Soon it was time to say goodbye to the Cotswolds, but before we left, we had to pop into this inn and of course, grab a pint. This wrapped our London portion of the trip, but no worries, stay tuned because we're going to Scotland next. <laughs> that was perfect. Yes. Ah, see what God does. 